Hi, I'm Liz and I'm on the developer relations team here at Shopify. In this series, we'll be covering the basics of Shopify app development and the tools available to help you build them. In the last video, we covered creating an app in the partner dashboard and generating API keys. In this video, we'll cover completing these same tasks in the Shopify CLI, as well as scaffolding the code for a base Shopify app and installing it on our newly created development store. On Mac, you install a Shopify CLI with RubyGems or Homebrew. Check the links in the description for installing it on other operating systems. Once it's finished installing, you can run the command Shopify version to check everything's installed correctly. With the Shopify CLI, you can scaffold the base Shopify app project in Node, Ruby, or PHP. In this series, we'll be working with Node, but the process should be similar across languages. These base applications have things like OAuth and authentication already set up, so you can focus on building out the features of your app. Let's run the command Shopify node create in our terminal. You'll be prompted to enter your app name. The next prompt will be if you're building a public or custom app. Custom apps are intended for a single merchant. Public apps can be installed by an unlimited number of merchants and can be listed for install in the Shopify app store. Next, just select which partner account you want this app associated with and the development store. Then the base application will be cloned and dependencies will be installed. You can also check out the code for this base application on our GitHub. If you go to the partner dashboard now, you should see the new app that was created by the CLI. For Shopify app local development, we need to expose the server on our machine to the internet. The Shopify CLI uses a tool called ngrok to make a tunnel, but there are a variety of other options available. If you haven't created an ngrok account already, you may be prompted the first time you run Shopify node serve. This is the command that will start your server. The CLI will update your app settings in the partner dashboard and in your environment file, setting the ngrok URL as your app URL. Now in your terminal, you should see a URL that was outputted to install your app on your development store. You can also install your app right from the partner dashboard. You'll be brought to a page in the Shopify admin to install your app and to authorize access to shop data. We can see here the app is requesting to view Shopify account data, as well as the ability to edit orders, products, and customers. These are the default scopes for the base application, and scopes can be added or removed as needed. You should only request access to data that is absolutely necessary for your app. After clicking install, the OAuth flow will be completed and your new app will be installed in the development store. Before we start making API calls to get product or customer information, our shop needs to have products or customers. The CLI can help with that as well. We could manually create some products in the Shopify admin, but the CLI can help us by creating test products that we can use during development. This can be done by running the command Shopify populate products in our terminal for our store. There, we use the Shopify CLI to create a new app in a partner dashboard, clone a base application to add features to, and create some sample products for us to test with. The Shopify CLI can also be used to manage app extensions and for theme development. You can check out the Shopify CLI repository on GitHub to learn more and to get help with troubleshooting common issues. In the next video, we're gonna be covering Polaris, Shopify's design system. For more information on Shopify app development, make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out our docs on shopify.dev. Join the Shopify Devs Discord server to meet fellow developers and ask questions.